Hello and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Topperwine. Today we're looking at motorcycle design. This story from DBBP.com is a dream product for every motorcycle enthusiast. Mark Vanderkwok started with this nice looking 1964 Triumph when he decided to strip it and hardtail it, which means getting rid of the rear suspension to lower the bike and give it a more old school look. Mark used CAD modeling for various elements of the project, including the front fork designs. The bike is still under construction. You can track the project at dbbp.com. Now, that all looks like too much work. Ducati has introduced the Monster Art Project, which lets you customize your new Ducati 796 in just 10 minutes. The kit lets you choose from a selection of official art to change the look of your tank, fairing, front fender, and seat cover. They really do look different. I want to give my ride some street cred with cosmetic bullet holes. And Ducati's custom detailing is a much safer way to install bullet holes than my other idea. Stupid ricochet. Norton Motorcycles has openly shared their recent engine builds for the new version of their legendary Commando motorcycle. This daring bit of engineering while others watch took a lot of courage, but the pictures of the highly polished aluminum clutch parts and sub-assemblies make their engineering look inspired. There are 660 parts that go into the engine. Norton is able to design and keep track of every version of every perfect part by using Creo Parametric, a CAD software design environment that helps achieve precision, power, and performance. And now for a truly unique ride. Meet the Uno, an all-electric motorcycle that you control not with pedals or throttles or even brakes, but by leaning. A computer in the console powers the motors to solve a classic control problem as Brad Hargitay, CEO of BPG Motors, recently explained to me. One way to think about it is, um, technically it's called the inverted pendulum, but a kind of common man's way to think about it is if you take a broom and you balance it on the end of your finger, when that broom starts to tilt over, you move faster underneath it to keep it balanced. That's very much the principle of this bike. So you don't have to do anything as a rider, but there's pretty clever software in there that says, where is the center of mass? Where is the person sitting on the wheels relative to the balance point? So if the person is in front of that balance point, it accelerates the wheels underneath them. Of course, you wouldn't want to ride without a helmet. And French designer Kevin Goupel has designed a new bicycle helmet made of cork. Cork is a renewable resource, commonly used, of course, to seal wine bottles. Well, now it can protect something more valuable than a 1787 Chateau Lafitte human brain. The helmet uses cork because of the superior shock absorption. It is fashioned after World War II era French army helmets, which made up in style what they lost in the ability to repel occupying invaders. Designing motorcycles demands that engineers collaborate for surfacing, electronics, parts, and big assemblies. You can learn more about Creo Parametric, the collaborative design environment that Norton used in their fearless redesign at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. That's a wrap for this week. If you have a suggestion for a product design you would like to see on the show, please send it to productdesignshow at engineering.com. Next week on the Product Design Show, we'll bring you amazing engineering and agricultural equipment.